Hey, and welcome back to the DLC Godot series, how to handle DLCs. And um, now I would like to talk about something which is very important to understand, which is editor versus build, because there is a very, very big difference um, when it comes to the DLC management. So uh, two things here. We have a sprite and what I can do very easily is I go into my uh, Kogi DLC folder, drag and drop the Kogi um, picture onto the sprite and now I have it here. I start my build and it works great. It's uh, perfect. No, wait, <laughs> sorry. Um, it does not because in the, in the uh, game uh, I actually override uh, this texture. I would like to not do this for this very special example. So now everything is good, okay? So we have the Corgi, uh, it is directly assigned to the sprite and it works perfectly fine. Um, and there are two ways of how to break the build now. So let me just export this. Uh, I, uh, I have this batch file here. If you are interested in how to make this one click export for the whole project, then you can watch the, the other videos I did. I, I uh, made a video about this in previous, in previously. Um, and what we will see now that it actually works. So when we start the game, we should already see it. Then we see the Kogi, no problem. But the game will now crash when you uh, delete the Kogi DLC. Because and this is important to notice um, when in, in the first introduction video I showed you the same I deleted all the DLCs and then the game did not crash uh, at the end it was just gray but now it crashed the difference is that um, when I uh, when I show the, the images or here you can actually see this in the in the code here I override the image and I'm I'm using and we, we look at this later in detail I'm using my DLC manager get background function and this uh, is careful and if it notices oh there is no background then it uh, um, uh, yeah has secure measurements so that the game doesn't crash right but now we don't use the DLC uh, manager we assigned this image directly to the sprite so the main game things like oh yeah all oh, cool uh, uh, there's this uh, Kogi image, but then we deleted the DLC and now the image is not there and the game crashes. Um, so this is one thing to uh, to notice that your build might be dif different because here you always have all the data. All the DLCs are, are here all the time when you start your build from the, from the editor. But in your uh, build here, you don't know what the player may be bought or, or deleted accidentally or something. So this is something to be uh, careful about. So I guess uh, don't assign DLC data directly to stuff would be one rule. Um, so this is one thing. And um, Another thing which I would like to show one second is, mm, ah yeah, uh, is the console. You notice that I have two, um, two exe files here, and it's very very useful in the export setting for your main Windows. It's very useful in the options uh, tab to set export console wrapper to debug and release. Uh, usually it's debug only, I think. And it will create this exe here, which makes that when you start the game, you will get this little console here and all the output you usually see in your debug stuff. And you see some red stuff appearing here. And this means, oh, something went wrong. And actually, I don't have a good way to capture my workaround. Is usually I make a screenshot <laughs> in the right moment. And then I look at what the red text says, like here now, for example, I make a screenshot and we cannot read it here but it would say something like oh Kogi uh, problem loading blah, blah, blah. and then you know it's about the Kogi and the reason is actually that I just uh, assigned the Kogi here directly so that's that was a mistake or deleting the DLC was a mistake and there is another thing how to make the whole thing fail we will look at the um, uh, DLC system later uh, in, in detail but if you we look at the DLC manager now and what it does uh, here in the init function is um, it gets all the pack or zip files from a DLC folder. So here it gets all the files in there. In our case, it's four. It's f the four DLC files we saw. Then it loads them into the project. And then the data is available. From this moment on, 
it would not be a problem if your Corgi is, is uh, assigned or actually it, it worked. Yeah, the data is there and, and the Corgi was assigned to the, to the sprite. So no problem. So just, uh, just to iterate again, we make it like this, save it and export it. And as long as you don't delete the Corgi DLC, so let's just check if the Corgi DLC is uh, re-exported correctly. So this will work, okay? So I mean, we saw it working before, no problem, but I just want to prove you that it actually was working. So one second, we just wait for the Corgi DLC to appear. There it is. So now we will start it here and the Corgi is there. So what I noticed, and this was an interesting mistake, is that when we do this DLC manager thing, the init function, at the beginning, I did it in ready. I mean, we know already that uh, here all these managers are in auto load, so they are uh, loaded as first um, when you start the game. And I was thinking, oh, ready, that should be early enough to load in all the data. But let me show you what happens when I now make a new build. Uh, and uh, I just changed this here from uh, init to ready. So it comes a little bit later. And to be spoiler, <laughs> Uh, it will crash the game. So when you do this in ready, like getting all the files, like here looking into a DLC folder, boop, 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 uh, loading all the files into the um, into the, the game, it will crash. So when we start it now, boop, it crashes again and in the console we will see that there's some red text uh, popping up because the data is not loaded when the game here actually uh, is setting up the sprite and setting up the Corgi. So to make sure the data is already there, use the init function. So that's important. Yes. Um, so that, that's, uh, yeah, that's the, the most important stuff here. Or like I said, maybe don't assign DLC stuff to your main <laughs> game functionality, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's just important to to know this. So let's see. Oop. Um, for this video, I think that should be enough. Uh, just to summarize, we just checked, uh, yeah, editor versus uh, build and then how to break it. And I'm just thinking if I want to explain something else, but I think this should be fine. Okay, so in the next video, we will look at uh, the DLC manager and what it actually does. Um, oh, and yeah, yeah, we will we will look at in in the next uh, video today. Okay, so see you in the next video.